only eat from aisle five in a grocery store for the entire day. I'm inspired by the creativity of this comment, so challenge accepted. Now, I thought this was gonna be all fun and games until I walked into my first grocery store and saw that their aisle five consisted of cleaning supplies. Considering I wasn't really in the mood for a Tide Pod, I knew I needed to go to a different grocery store. But I made the mistake of going to Air One and forgot that they're too bougie to have aisle numbers. So I was on the road again to my third grocery store of the day where there was an aisle five, but it was just wine. As much fun as drinking wine for an entire day sounds, that would have been a recipe for disaster. So I went to my fourth grocery store where I finally hit the aisle five jackpot. I'm talking Eggos, garlic bread, pizza, taquitos, dino nuggies, Uncrustables, and ice cream. I've never ran a marathon, nor will I ever, but I'm guessing this is what it feels like at the finish line. Only eat like celebrity chefs for an entire day? Challenge accepted. To begin this challenge, I made a pit stop in Flavortown at Guy Fieri's Vegas Kitchen and Bar, where I tried the most insane Bloody Mary and Guy's famous trash can nachos. Even though the Bloody Mary had enough food on it to last me about seven days, I then made my way to Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips. People stand in line for hours at this place, and now after trying it, I understand why. I tried Gordon's favorite milkshake while I was there, and I'm not gonna lie, it was the best milkshake of my entire life. After this insane day of eating, I can't help but think, if Gordon Ramsay and Guy Fieri had a baby, would it be me? Only eat gummies for an entire day? This should be yummy, so challenge accepted. To begin this dream day, I made myself some gummy swirl cereal for breakfast. I then wanted to feel elegant, so I decided to indulge in these very fancy fish tacos. I then made myself some sour candy popcorn and planned out how I was going to take the perfect selfie. Because original gummy fun mix is having a sweepstakes where if you upload a selfie of yourself with your candy, you could win $25,000. Good luck! Only eat cake for an entire day? Challenge accepted. To make this challenge happen, I went to my all-time favorite spot, Milk Bar, and decided to throw us all a birthday party. Now, I know you may be saying, but Matt, it's not even my birthday. But that is exactly the point. You see, Milk Bar is encouraging everyone to have a birthday redo. Because let's be honest, birthdays in 2020 were kind of like this confetti cannon. Extremely disappointing. So to make up for it, let's join Milk Bar with a birthday do-over summer. Only eat red food for an entire day. I've actually done this once, but I'm red D for a part two, so challenge accepted. To begin this challenge, I went to this red dining room and had one of the world's spiciest red ramen. After one bite, I lost all feeling inside of my mouth, so I had to wave my white flag. After giving my mouth an ice bath, I then was red D for my next meal, which was a hot Cheetos pokey burrito. By this point, I had had enough with the spice and needed to be sweet with this insane tray of red velvet dessert. Now my stomach is like a red light saying, please. Please stop. Only eat combo meals for an entire day, but roll a dice to decide which number? Challenge accepted. Now the first step to this challenge was going to buy some dice, and then I went to McDonald's for breakfast and let the games begin. Um, could I get a number four, please? This meant I was having a crispy chicken sandwich and french fries for breakfast. For lunch, I went to Taco Bell and ended up with a number five, but I wasn't complaining. For dinner, I went to Jack in the Box and wanted to spice it up with two dice, but then I was extremely humiliated when I looked at their menu and saw all numbers besides nine. Do you have a number nine by chance? No, we don't. Um, okay. I knew I had to leave immediately, so I went to Wendy's and rolled a number seven where I ended up with a bacon burger. It did have tomatoes on it, which I wasn't super excited about, but if today taught me anything, it's to just roll with it. Only eat my favorite foods for an entire day. I do think my stomach could use a break from the crazy food, so challenge accepted. Since I never show you guys what I actually eat, I thought it'd be fun to break this up into parts. So this is part one of my favorite spots. First up, La La Land Kind Cafe. Technically, it's a coffee shop, but it doesn't even feel right to describe it as that. This place is truly heaven to me because the aesthetic is everything. The first time I saw their merch, I almost passed out, and then I took a picture and made it my phone background. A weird fact about me is I'm a huge sucker for cups that make me laugh. 
laugh. So once I saw their coffee sleeves, they had me for life. My favorite drink is the butterfly latte. It literally tastes like fruity pebbles. They also have amazing avocado toast, plus their staff is insanely nice. Their goal is to normalize kindness, so every time you leave, you always feel better. This is not an ad, it's just me wanting you to have a better day, so go check out La La Land Kind Cafe. Only eat what my dad tells me to eat for an entire day. I'm a little skeptical of my dad's taste buds because his favorite food was the food I used to make in my car. But challenge accepted. I want you to eat slimy foods. Clams, mussels, nails, eel, and seaweed. It should be a real challenge for you. I love my dad, but I had no idea where to get any of those things, so I just went to a fish market and asked them to give me anything slimy. I got oysters, tuna, and seaweed salad, but my dad still wasn't very impressed. Well, not as good as, did you get any um, snail? I wasn't able to find snail, but I did find this. Yeah, oh yeah. It gave my dad a good laugh, but there was no way I was eating this thing. So I just had to pretend the FaceTime failed. Sorry dad, but happy Father's Day. Only eat foods that share the same name as celebrities. This may be my hardest comment yet, but challenge accepted. All right, I'm just gonna rapid fire these off. First up, I had marshmallows for marshmallow, a box of M&Ms for the rapper Eminem, two Reese's for Reese Witherspoon, Milano cookies for Alyssa Milano, a jug of Arnold Palmer for Arnold Palmer, and a Shirley Temple for Shirley Temple. Sadly, there's no food item named that, but if there was, I'm guessing it would just look like this. This is part two of only eating foods that are inspired by music, and I promise there's one that I won't leave out this time. Now to begin this challenge, my breakfast was inspired by the songs Coffee and Bacon. For lunch, I know it's a little embarrassing I didn't just make this myself, but I ordered a peanut butter and jelly, along with a lemonade for Queen Bee. I then made my way to the candy shop, and then sat at a bar in the middle of the afternoon and took a shot of Fireball. Ba -na 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 -na. Finally, to end the day, I read all your comments and knew I had to have watermelon sugar, but I don't eat fruit, so I could only have the sugar. Honestly, eating like this is so fun, I'm ready for part three. Only eat foods that are inspired by music for the entire day. Challenge accepted. Now to begin this music filled day, I had banana pancakes inspired by this Jack Johnson song. For lunch, I ate stir fry in honor of the Migo song, Stir Fry. To snack, I had a box of sour candy and some peaches. Finally, I made my way to Santa Monica Pier where I enjoyed some cake by the ocean. Now I'm just wondering, do the Grammys call me or do I call them? I only eat deep fried food for an entire day. There's just no way this can be good for me, but challenge accepted. To begin this deeply unhealthy day, I had deep fried pickles along with two sticks of deep fried cheese. One of which was dipped in sugar and it was honestly life changing. I continued to satisfy my sweet tooth with chicken and waffles, deep fried Oreos, and deep fried ice cream. And now if you'd like, you can start referring to my stomach as Lady Gaga because after today, it's off the deep end. Only eat cheese for an entire day? Challenge accepted. To begin this challenge, I decided to trade in my morning glass of orange juice for a morning glass of cheese. I then had cheese fries and cheese pasta and made my way to Walmart to buy the brand new Taco Bell Cheddar Crisps. Made with real cheese, these crisps are protein packed and keto friendly, not to mention they're craveable, crunchy, and so gouda. Only eat Texas sized foods for an entire day? Let me grab my saddle, because challenge accepted. I knew I needed to start this challenge in a big way, so I went to Randy's Donuts and got two of the world's largest donuts. After that sugar rush, I needed something savory, so I got this boss box of buffalo fries. I then hit up my favorite burrito spot and said, hey, could you guys make me a big burrito? And they said, say less. It was hands down the most insane burrito I've ever seen in my entire life. It took eight hands to roll it. By this point, my stomach was saying, giddy up, cowboy. It's time for this challenge to be over. So to end the day, I had this crazy cotton candy tower. And now I'm I'm gonna go take a nap that's so big it's gonna make all these items look small. Yeehaw! Only eat grass for an entire day. They do say it's greener on the other side, so challenge accepted. To begin this challenge, I went to the park and picked out a handful of grass to eat. Just kidding, luckily I live in LA where they actually sell grass items at the grocery store. First up, I had a $20 bag of green grass popcorn and a $10 grass crisp. I then took a double wheatgrass shot and washed it down with a lemongrass kombucha that exploded all over me. I took it as a sign that this challenge should probably end, so I then used lemongrass as a fork to eat this overpriced piece of grass pie. Now the inside of my stomach is it's very green, but the inside of my wallet is not. Only eat burnt food for an entire day. I feel like my insides may be toast after this, 
but challenge accepted. Now to begin this challenge, I figured toast would be the easiest burnt food item to begin with. However, since I don't cook, I don't have a toaster, so putting the bread in the oven nearly burnt my entire apartment down. Since I could then no longer be inside my house, I went and got burnt catfish, burnt egg white bites, and some extremely burnt chicken. I then ended the day with a cup of burnt ice cream. And sure, it may have just been Oreo soft serve, but I really needed a reward, okay? My stomach was feeling burnt out. Only eat foods from TV shows for the entire day? Challenge accepted. Now to begin this challenge, I made myself some cheese jerky from the iconic episode of Hannah Montana. I then made spaghetti tacos in honor of iCarly and decided to keep up with the Kardashians by driving to get their famous salad. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Next, I had a Krabby Patty and nearly broke my jaw trying to be like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Finally, to end the day, I used a Fairly Odd Parents theme song to get... Well, that's it for today, but do you want to watch another episode? Only eat pizza for an entire day. I'm gonna say cheese because challenge accepted. Now I'm pretty excited about this challenge because pizza has always held a special piece of my heart. So much so that I even used to have a pizza bedroom. When I heard about the extra most bestest thin crust pizza from Little Caesars, I knew I needed to try it because I was so intrigued by the name. The amount of cheese and pepperoni that they were able to fit onto this thin crust pizza was insane. I mean, not to be cheesy, but it may have changed my life. It was truly love at first bite. Only eat food from a restaurant that has one star. I feel like you guys are really trying to hurt me, but challenge accepted. Now, I honestly had no idea how difficult it was going to be to try to find a one star restaurant. But after a solid three hours of research, I finally found a winner. It was this review saying that the food was a mix between a TV dinner and canned dog food that really sold it for me. But since I'm not Demi Lovato trying to take down a local business, I decided to not show the name of this place. I mean, sure, the presentation wasn't great, and I definitely kind of got a dog food vibe, but overall, I didn't think it was that bad. Well, until I bit into this very concerning piece of meat and nearly started choking. If this is my last video, at least I died doing something I love, treating my stomach like a trash can.